hop on here and do like a little vlog. Um, so today at work, because as you know, I have a full-time job that doesn't pertain to YouTube at all. <laughs> and the owners of where I work, it's a husband and wife, and they are on vacation. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure where they're on vacation at, but they are not in the States. <laughs> and so with that means there's more responsibility for me, which is fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. But today what happened was I had to fire someone. Now, part of that, I'm perfectly fine with. I've done I've done that before. I wasn't like really worried about him acting, you know, crazy or whatnot. But I don't know. I was just thinking that the other people there, because they didn't say the owners didn't say clearly like this person's in charge, right? So. It was kind of like everyone seemed to think they were in charge. So I just stepped back and just watched because the, it just ends up better for me if I do that than trying to force these people to realize that they're probably not the ones that's in charge. So I got a text from the owner saying, do you want to fire so-and-so? And, -so? and uh, this person was already on their way out, so it's not like this was something that just happened when they left. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it because, you know, when I interviewed to work here, they asked me about doing that type of thing, and I was like, sure. I was like, sure. I mean, I've done it before. It's been part of my role. Okay. So that's what happened today. <laughs> And the thing was, is the main reason for the dismissal is this person's always late. And even today, like he had a time to be at the shop of, I think, 7 o'clock. So at 7.15, he's like texting in saying, um, can I have the day off? No, you're late. He was like, who went the day off because he need his child care. Well, my response to him was, you can bring your child, it's fine. <laughs> so they had texted him and told him that they, he could bring his child, that I need to talk to him. And he walks in the office and then walks in my office and goes, am I in trouble? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then, you know, commenced to tell him that I needed his key. So I was just thinking that everyone on the outside thinks that maybe doing that kind of task is easy, that it doesn't affect the person that's doing it, you know, because they're not the ones in that position. I mean, this person was always late, and no one wanted to work with him. So, I mean, it was coming. They had actually hired, like, three days, two, three, four days ago, they hired the person that would be replacing him anyways. I don't know. It's just something sat with me wrong about... People looking in and thinking that having to let someone go is an easy task and that you have no feelings whatsoever about it because that's just not the case. I, it is my one of my least favorite things to do, but it's part of the job and if I want to continue to advance with any company, but more importantly, where I work, then I have to take on more tasks like that. 
And just to mention the owners, <laughs> just so fun. So hey guys, since I've been trying to vlog <laughs> this week, I thought I'd hop on here. So today is Friday and first thing is today is my husband and I, of course, 16, 16 year wedding anniversary. Not how many years we've been together. This year will be 23, 23 years, but that's not until July. So anyways, that's not why I came on here. Um, I came on here because today was the day that my youngest son went and had all four wisdom teeth removed. Four. And apparently the bottom ones they said were in the bone I don't unfortunately I do know a tad bit about dentistry because I've had so much work done my entire life but I don't quite understand that however it is what it is so he had to be sedated and he had to be there at 7 30 this morning he was done and like waking up by 9 15 i think is when they left so my husband brought him home and i stayed at the dentist yeah so i stayed there because i had a crown it was my very first crown i have ever ever done 
I wanna say I was in my early 20s. So this crown's been on for a good, probably a minimum 15 years. <laughs> and so it was the only crown that I had in that was gold. <laughs> and I remember when I first told my husband about getting it because at the time I had three to choose from and gold was the strongest. So I went with gold. Well, I no longer have that gold crown. <laughs> I really, really thought about seeing if I could keep it. But I didn't. I didn't want to be that person. No offense to if you've done that. Just, I don't need to do that. Apparently, it's of no value. Because I was like, is that like real gold? Then I'm going to keep that sucker. We're going to go figure out how to get funds for that. But that's not it. So... The question with that, changing that crown out, was, is the tooth that's under it, that I had a root canal on, um, was it able to be salvaged and place a new crown on? I have been putting this off because I didn't think it would be, and I didn't want to have the tooth extracted and have to do an implant because where this one is me personally i would do the implant and for everything that i've seen about those um that's not a fun time one it's expensive because your insurance pays nothing because it's cosmetic and two that shit hurts and i ain't trying to do that so that's good Oh, uh, what else? Oh, so today's the day that Jeffree Star, because you guys know how I feel about Jeffree Star now. I mean, I really do like his products. It's really bad. Uh, so today's the day he released Bloodlust, the purple palette. Um, I wasn't interested in getting that palette just because I will never wear purple uh even like the blue blood that i have i don't necessarily wear blue even though like blue is my favorite color uh i just yeah i just don't right now but i know purple would not happen but there were glosses that i was interested in so when he released at what 10 a.m yes 10 a.m pacific standard time which is 1 p.m eastern stop eastern time where i am in georgia that was about the time that i was driving home yeah driving home from the dentist and truthfully i forgot about it we my son and myself i forgot so, and my phone was, on, was practically dying, which never, ever, ever, ever happens. So, I had clicked on Instagram and went on there. And, of course, he pops up and I was like, oh, this was at 2 p.m. I mean, no, it's closer to like 2.30. 2.15, 2.30. And... I was like, okay, let's just go see. Well, when I clicked on it and went to his site, I realized Bloodlust was still available. And this is an hour after it dropped. So I didn't expect to see that. But I was scrolling, looking at the glosses. And guess what I found? The Conspiracy Palette was restocked you guys i love the mini controversy like i practically use that every day um occasionally i'll swap out and use alien that i got from the premium valentine's day mystery box because they have a lot of neutral shades let me tell you when i saw conspiracy i added that second to my car real quick 
I was so shocked that conspiracy was there. I don't even know if he said anything about it or if Shane said anything about it. But it was there and I was like, heck yeah. So I got that. And then I picked up the gloss and sorcery from the Bloodlust launch now Shane had released merch I think on Wednesday of this week and I was so mad that I didn't get I wanted to get the black windbreaker that he has because that would probably be like the only thing I'm gonna wear I'm not wearing pink no and the light blue hoodie that he had was pretty cool but there's something about me wearing a pig on my shirt. I just didn't think that was good. <laughs> so I got that. So I got Conspiracy Palette, the Gloss and Sorcery from Jeffree Star's website today. I'm so stoked to have Conspiracy. Like I wanted that when it dropped. But once again, I was late getting to the site and then that's when the site had all those issues. But I was able to get the mini controversy. So that worked out. I just wanted to jump on here and touch base with you guys and let you guys know what's been going on. I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.